Hello and welcome to this tutorial on third person camera in Unity. Now, I've called it Spring Arm because um, similarly to Unreal Engine, uh, this camera is gonna adjust its uh, distance based on collisions. Um, okay, so there's quite a lot of things to do, so let's just jump into it. The first thing that I'm gonna do is go into Project Settings, Input, and I'm gonna copy the mouse wheel um, name. So I need to create also a private variable, zoom, set that to 5 uh, by default, and what I'm going to do is uh, have a zoom plus equals input.getAxis, and this is going to be that axis name. Uh, I'm also going to have a few serialized fields for sensitivity, private vector to camera sensitivity. That's going to be vector 2.1. Uh, another one is going to be serialized field private float um, zoom sensitivity. That's going to be 10 by default. Um, and I'm also going to have yet another serialized field, which um, if I didn't mention the serialized field is simply just to see private fields in editor. Um, it helps keep the encapsulation uh, intact. So I'm going to have a pitch clamp. So this is going to be 85 degrees for me. Uh, uh, come on. Pitch uh, clamp. So this is going to be uh -huh. mathf.clamp between the value minus the clamp plus the clamp and okay and yet another thing that I want to do is clamp the zoom between the maximum and the minimum value so that's going to be a vector 2 because that will have two values it's going to be zoom clamp equals to new vector 2 I'm going to clamp it between 0.5f and uh, 25 and zoom is gonna be multiplied by zoom sensitivity yaw is gonna be multiplied by camera sensitivity dot x um, this one's gonna be multiplied by sensitivity dot y and zoom is also gonna be clamped so zoom equal to, uh, just copy this line, zoomclock.x, and once again copy that because I just don't want to type. And the last thing that I'll do is just set the transform dot uh, local position. Now because my camera is parented to the focus point it's in local position rather than the the uh, world position. So yeah that one's gonna be vector 3 dot back which is simply minus 1 on the z-axis times the zoom. Save that and once it compiles okay uh, I have done something wrong with my, uh, my, hmm, now this should be, yeah, I should have done this for the zoom, okay, save that, test it out again, and now that works. Um, I can't go past this value, I can't go further than that, and I can't go above or below the limits. Um, a couple of things that I'll do before collisions is just going to start function and have a cursor dot lock mode that's going to be cursor lock mode dot locked, and um, I'm only going to adjust the rotation 
if inputs dot get mouse button one that will be uh, true when I click the right button and hold it down put that here and um, I'm also gonna create a function private void rotate in which I'm gonna do this and also this okay so now I only have a rotate function and I'm gonna have another one called zoom so yep just to clean the update method a bit this one's gonna be zoom and save that and test it out again make sure everything still works Yep, now when I click the right mouse button, I rotate. When I don't, I can just move around with the mouse and it doesn't do anything. Um, actually, I don't need to have it locked, sorry. Uh, yep, now it seems a lot better. Um, what I'll do now is handle the collisions. Uh, I'm gonna do it in the zoom method since it sort of belongs with that and this is kind of complicated but uh, but I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So I'll create a ray that's gonna be new ray and this is gonna go from transform.parent.position so the focus point and it's going to go towards the camera, so that's going to be transform parent dot um, forward vector, just the minus sign to get the back vector that goes towards the camera. I'll need to recast it, physics dot recast, and I'll need the information if it hits something. Recast hit hit. I'm going to do the ray out hit and I'm gonna cast it for the distance of zoom and if it hits something I'm gonna set that zoom to be hit dot distance and once again uh, I'm gonna clamp it but this time I'll just clamp it between uh, I'll actually clamp it between oh this this should have been not minus this should have been plus and this should be, yeah, I'm just going to clamp it like that once again, because uh, if it collides with something, it might uh, put the camera a bit closer than I want to. So let's save that and do it once again, test, okay, and yep, now it collides, but uh, as you can see, the floor disappears when I do that. Um, I'm gonna fix that later, but the first problem that I'm gonna go into is this um, zoom distance change when I uh, collide with something. So I want my zoom to remain intact. Um, I'm gonna solve this by having a target zoom. And I'm not gonna adjust the zoom directly, I'm gonna adjust the zoom that we want to have okay. gonna raycast for the target zoom and if I don't hit anything I'm gonna have zoom equal to target zoom once again test out That's the behavior I want. Um, now, before going into that clipping problem, I'll fix this jumpiness. So when I go in, in behind this column, I want my camera just to smoothly trans transition rather than jump like this. So um, I'm going to achieve this with a smooth dam. Um, I'm going to create a 
private float zoom velocity. This is just the variable smooth damp needs. Uh, I don't think you have to care about it that much. You usually just leave it as a reference. Um, so another serialized field float zoom damp. And this one's gonna be I'm gonna leave it at some sort of small value for now. And um, so instead of setting it like this, I'm gonna do zoom equals to math f dot smooth damp between the current zoom and the target zoom, which is uh, hit dot distance uh, reference of zoom velocity and zoom damp for the smoothing time. And yeah, save that. I'll also do this for when the camera exits. And this is gonna be not the zoom distance, but target zoom in this case. And once again, test it out. And this should look a lot smoother. So when I zoom out, yeah, you can see that. And if I go behind something, this looks a lot better. But still we get this annoying clipping problem. So I'm gonna try to fix that now. So the most rudimentary way of fixing it would be just to increase the camera distance. Uh, decrease the camera distance. So uh, I'll actually do that for now, I think. So serialize field private float uh, camera radius. That's gonna be 0 0.5 or something like that. And um, so if it um, if it hits something, what I want to do is uh, decrease the zoom. So zoom minus equals um, camera radius. See if it was as easy as that. seems to have worked. So yeah, this is this has been the third person camera tutorial for Unity. Um, hopefully this uh, is the camera you can use. Um, I'll leave the code in the description because there's been quite a lot, a lot of it, so just copy and paste it. Um, thanks for watching, hopefully it helped, and goodbye.